What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Banjo Tooie. In the last episode, we pretty much finished up Witchy World in its entirety, and in this episode, we are back here in Spiral Mountain because I am here to pick up some cheats from Cheeto himself. Finally, I know I procrastinated this long enough, and by that I mean I have completely forgot about it when I was actually supposed to take advantage of it. But I digress. We're going to finally actually grab ourselves, a, I think, a couple of cheat codes at the very least. So let's do that by heading on over here really, really quickly. I'm sure I could have, like, jumped up onto this ladder. But you know what? I didn't really feel like it. We're just going to head on inside. And most of this episode is actually going to be spent in the overworld once again. We're not going to really be going into the next world just yet. But let's talk. Great. You've got enough pages for me to tell you a new secret cheat. About time, spill the beans. All right, hand over my precious pages first. We give them five. Much obliged. And what are we going to get? My first cheat is feathers. Got it. And then there's another one. Much obliged. And the second cheat is eggs. Very, very simple. All right, here's a small clue as to how to activate the cheat. Mayhem Temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we know, we know how to do that. So we're going to actually be going immediately over there and doing that right now. It's the one glaring thing that we never actually entered uh, we never actually entered in Mayahem Temple, so let's go over that way, and you know what? I think I will just see you guys over there in a second. Alrighty, so we're over here by Wumba's Wigwam over in the Jade Snake Grove area. Now, if you remember correctly, back when I was in this actual level, we used the giant, uh, the giant creature to come over here and basically kick the door open. You can also open this with the use of a grenade egg, if you so please. It pretty much functions the exact same. So we're going to get rid of these guys really, really quickly. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is where you activate my cheats. Do this, stand on the podium if you want to know how. We'll do that in just a second. Let me kill this cat. And they don't actually attack you, I think, when you're on here anyway. You must spell out the cheat code I have given you. Use, okay, we know how to do that. So we are going to do... If you hit the wrong letter, you have to start again. So we're going to start with... Ooh, I have the right letter. Or the right eggs, don't I? Okay, I do. So... Oh my gosh, I almost hit the S there. That would have been bad. Oh my... Why... Oh, why is it so finicky, man? Why is it so finicky? And I also hate that it's only inverted one way, but not the other. It just throws me off. So then we're going to hit that one again. Oh my gosh, this is actual pain. Eh. There we go. Okay, so that one is done. Feathers cheat will double the maximum number of red and gold feathers that you can carry. So we go up to... I want to say 200 red feathers and 20 gold feathers, and then we will do this one, which is much easier to type, thank goodness, and this one will actually double the amount of eggs, um, I believe, to do this one, I think. Okay, eggs cheat, yeah, double the maximum number of eggs that you can carry, and the cool thing is, is that if you step out of this, the really cool thing is that you can actually turn these cheats on and off if you so desire. So, let's uh, turn each of these on, because we might as well. They're basically bonuses to our arsenal. And there we go! Awesome! 50 grenade eggs! That is going to come in huge handy throughout the game, and I definitely want to use those. There are cheats, I think I've said this already, but I just want to reiterate. There are cheats in the game that you can get that are not given to you by Cheeto, such as, like, unlimited eggs and unlimited feathers, which are obviously very broken. We're not going to be using those. I, I have no intention to use those whatsoever. I just want to stick to the actual cheats you get for getting Cheeto pages because I feel like those are, well, I don't know, legit for starters. Um, I do not need to go that way. We're going to just jump into the side. We're actually going to head on over to, um, oh my gosh, uh, freaking, how am I actually forgetting the name of the level? The second level, the second world. What the heck is wrong with me? Jeez. I feel so stupid for this. Uh, d d d d what? What is it? Why can't I remember the name? Oh my gosh! Just fine. Jump on in. A uh, glitter gulch mine. There we go. Jeez! I actually remembered it like a half second before the word appeared on screen. Okay, so we want to. I think I actually want to go to Mumbo's hut because now that we have the split up ability, we can get the I believe only Jiggy that I left unavailable. No, no, sorry. There's two that are unavailable, but we can't get the other one just yet. So. We're going to get the one of the two that we couldn't get uh, before. I think that's correct, right? I better actually double check that while we're here. It is, I believe it's two. Uh, yeah, okay. So there was exactly one we're and a Jinjo, but I can Oh, that's right. I can't get that Jinjo yet either. Actually, we will be getting that Jinjo somewhat soon, though. So let's head on up over this way. 
And we are going to want to head to the right. Is that correct? No, no, no. We're going to go past this room. It's in the next room, I believe. I think so. So head on over here. And then I think... Am I going the right way? I might actually be going the wrong way. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Okay, I am an idiot. No, it is in this room. I don't know why I did that. So we're going to use the split-up pad here really, really quickly. And I'm going to take Banjo on in here first really, really fast. And this right here is the power hut. So there's a few things that we're going to want to take note of. First of all, we're going to use the la Banjo on the ladder here because he's the only one who can climb it. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to step on this switch ugh, right here. And in doing so, we are going to actually have the basement lit up. You can technically get across this if you so desire without actually powering things on. It's possible to see where you need to go, but it's really, really hard to do. But I would rather not chance it. So we're going to now use Kazooie to head on down. And from here, now that we actually are here, we can just start walking our way across. And of course, the cool thing about Kazooie is I can just jump off of a freaking cliff. Wow. I was going to be like, hey, I can just skip through parts of this. But nope, I just immediately died. Hold on a second. Wow, that was bad. Okay, holy crap, once more with feeling. Let's not freaking die this time. That was absolutely unacceptable that that even happened in the first place. I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did before. There we go. Might as well. Let's recenter that camera. These planks do get slightly more narrow the further you go through this. But other than that, they're honestly not too hard. I just wasn't paying attention and just slipped right off the cliff. Now, honestly, the strat... You want to know what the strat is here now that you have this? Just die. It's much, much easier to just jump off the cliff because then you're immediately going to be set back on the split-up pad with Banjo there, and you can just move on from here. All right, so that is it for Glitter Cult's Mine. Now, we are going to be heading back out to Plateau, and I'm going to be showing you how we get to the next area of ILO Hags, the next hub area known as Clifftop. So I will see you outside in just a second. Now, once again, all you need to do to get to the next area is have the uh, split-up ability. So, we're just going to want to go over this way, and I do believe... Okay, our split pads are right here, so let me kill this guy. And then, let's do our quick split up. This is, this is like the most simple usage of split up in the entire game, and I really don't even know why they bother with it, because it's just like... If you have the ability, you've already done more complex things than this. I can promise you that. Alright, so, just... Walk the two characters over here, and then all you need to do is have them each step on the pads. I guess there's just a way of kind of gating you a little bit, since technically uh, where Witchy World is is the third area, and this is the second area, and the area we're about to head into is the fourth area. So I guess it sort of makes sense. But welcome, everybody, to Clifftop. Now, there's actually going to be quite a few things going on here. We have two more worlds that can be accessed from here, including our next world. But uh, just as importantly is this right here. All right, freezing cold, but that's the prize for launching eggs of solid ice. Yeah, we're getting our fourth, second to last set of eggs. These are also incredibly useful. Can't wait to show these things off. I like them a lot, especially in the next world. And that'll be all. So the way that ice eggs work is pretty darn self-explanatory. They do not do damage at all. In fact, here, I'll show you what they do. You shoot at somebody with it. They just freeze solid. It does no damage. But while they're stuck... You can then take them out. It basically just allows you to freeze things in place to either get around it or to uh, then deal up additional damage. Like, let's say, if you're in a panic or something along those lines. I, you know what? Hold on. <laughs> I, I know I, I shouldn't necessarily be going back, but I really don't know if there's one of those little, like, uh, one of those little enemy guys over here. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so I think I can climb all the way over there totally uh, without worry or concern. I probably should be getting the cliff top silo before I do this, but oh well. I'm just gonna head on over. Don't anything attack me now because I really want to get here without issue. Thank you. And let's step on this. So now we can get Chuffy on over here to cliff top, which is gonna come in handy at later points in the game. But for the time being, we can just head back on up. And work our way back over this way. So we still got a silo to get. And believe it or not, there's actually a mumbo skull here as well. And to further add to that, there's actually a mumbo pad here as well. You can see it right right over there. And we got to get him a globo at some point. Um, oh, hello there. Let me kill you. And let's start heading on over this way and explore a little more of this area. So feathers, feathers, not really interested in any of those. This is where mumbo skull is, obviously. 
And there is the silo. So really, really quickly, I'm going to kill you. We're going to open up the silo, and then you're going to notice that there is just a building kind of floating in the middle of nowhere. There's some notes next to it. Well, to get to open the bridge to it, and there's another thing right there, that is going to be important very, very soon. But uh, to get to open the bridge to it, all you need to do is walk down this stairs and stand on this. Very, very simple indeed. Let's go on over there and grab those notes. I am, oh gosh. For anybody who knows, oh, ho, ho, I am not looking forward to that. Not at all. That's not to say that any of the levels in this game are necessarily bad. Well, okay. Depending on who you ask, there is one level in this game in particular that is just a special kind of hell. But I have a sort of affinity for it, and we'll talk about it when we get to it. But uh, for now, wait, do I really only... I only need, okay, I need exactly five more jiggies to open up this world, which is kind of hilarious. Anyways, you can hear it. Uh, there is a little globo laughing directly above me, and all we need to do is get on this vine. And once we're up here, boom, there's a globo. Let me, can I kill this guy? Maybe? No, okay, he's just going to ignore me. Well, that's fine. So let's grab the globo, and we're not actually going to get Mumbo's help, but I'm just going to have that for the time being, so that we're always at extra one extra globo, at least until we actually need Mumbo. All right. So, looking at our time, let's go at least f uh, do the puzzle so that we can just start the next uh, sort of start the next episode in the fourth world. I think that's a good plan, don't you? I did not mean to do that. Oopsie daisies. Let's head on inside, and I think we're gonna actually have two challenges ready for us once we do. So let's do this thing. Obviously, I, I don't. I think it goes without saying, but I've never really mentioned that each of these puzzles get progressively harder. It just makes you put more pieces back. So let's do this thing. This one is really not that bad, but so I said before, um, Witchy World is my favorite level in the game. This is probably a close second, and I know that's not a super popular opinion given the context of this level, which it'll make sense in due time once we actually get there, but. I adore this level. Boy, do I adore it. It is just, oh, it is so freaking good. And no, we are not going to be taking hits like that, at least I would hope, while we're actually in the level. Alrighty. So we've completed another challenge, and now let's see where this beam is going to take us. And big shock, it is actually right to where we just were. <laughs> Back on Clifftop. Uh, but opening up the fifth area, which we're going to be doing with the next puzzle, is going to be a little bit more interesting. And I think I'm going to do that just to kind of leave you guys on a bit of a cliffhanger. Uh, was that a pun? Was that technically a pun, considering I was just talking about cliff top? I don't freaking know. Anyway, so over here we got this gate, and it says Tuyi Lagune, which is... Oh, gosh, I'm so excited for this level. <laughs> I'm so excited for it. I love it to death. And I probably shouldn't speak too soon, because I might end up getting... I might end up eating my words when we actually get in there, but... I have nothing but fond memories of this place. All right, let's do another one as soon as Jiggy Wiggy finishes talking because unfortunately we can't actually start it while he's doing the blabbering. So let's uh, start challenge five, which we only needed 20 to do. Okay, actually, can we open up the... S I think we can open up the sixth level as well. Oh, dear. Oh, dear me, if that's the case. Okay, that's not it. Let's do there. we go. Gosh, th this is another good level, but it's also very... Um, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, this is this is probably the first level where I can say it's a really good example of just how esoteric Banjo Tooie as a whole can be. Like I said, the levels get bigger, but there's some like jiggies that you have to go after in particular that are they're just they just require tons of setup and all sorts of puzzle solving. Which I love, don't get me wrong, I love it to death, but I know a lot of people aren't the biggest fans of it because usually, like, the, the whole thing about Banjo-Kazooie was in, like, 90, uh, aside from exactly one level, which was, uh, oh my gosh, what is it, Click Clock Wood. Aside from that one level, almost none of the Jiggies in the entire game required any sort of setup. There were, like, very rarely you would you know, have to do one thing to then be able to go after another Jiggy, but you usually got a Jiggy in the process of doing the first thing. It was like, get a Jiggy, and then maybe get a second Jiggy with the next step. But otherwise, you were getting Jiggies in a pretty straightforward way. This game, 
it gets a little bit more complicated in areas. And yes, we are indeed the chosen one, but I think I'm going to save that one for just a little bit later because that is going to spoil yet another area that I don't want to quite talk about. So I decided to give you guys a little preview with that one, but that is going to be it for this episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. And in the next one, we're heading off to the fourth world. See you all then.